Okay, everyone. So lots of people have commented about how I fit a Combi Pack 4 on a Guan Combi. So I'm going to show you. So here's the Combi Pack 4. You can see two part there. It can be open firm, but we're just going to wire into the Combi in this case. And it's a programmable room thermostat. So there's the thermostat itself. That's what will go inside eventually. And then this part here is a receiver. So obviously they talk to each other. On the combi boiler, I put a bit of five core cable in. Okay, that's going to end up there, obviously, for the receiver on the wall, which will be clipped nicely. And I've stripped it back so you can see all the five cores there. And then in the boiler side here, you can see I've got the five cores into here. So it's really straightforward and easy to do. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to connect the live, neutral, and earth into the boiler. So they go into there. Nice loop and I'm going to cut like so. This is also for you as well, Joe. Um, feel for you, mate, you broke your elbow, but you know, I just thought I'd show you how to wire something while you're lazing it on the sofa at home. Um, we love Joe, don't we, mate? Yeah, we love Joe. Okay, so we're just going to strip them back like so. Okay, and here we go. Obviously the board is isolated. So, people get confused about where it goes into the boiler, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Well, that doesn't normally go in first time, but that did, so we'll take it. Okay, that's the live in. neutral make sure you do them up properly and your earth obviously you have to take the cover off here to get into the wiring center of it or the wiring loom of the boiler but if you're a qualified engineer you're going to know that okay so i'm done that one for no reason so i'll just nip that one back up again okay done so we have two more wires so what we have to do is on here that's where the room stat is here, pin 25 and 26. What I normally do is I normally pull this out of here just to double check and then I power on the front of the boiler, um, continuous the uh, central heating. And then I put my meter on the pins and it's the right hand one that becomes live. So that's gonna be the common for the receiver. And then the wire back from the receiver to fire the boiler is gonna be on the other side. So we're just gonna wire them in now. With this, as you can see, it's a link. It comes as a link with the actual boiler. Can I get that out of there? Out of there. Make sure again they're a good length. I'm going to use grey as common, and I'm going to use black as the wire back. Normally I sleeve these, but for the purpose of this, I'll sleeve it when we're done. Okay. So this is going to be the live which is obviously from the boiler itself when the boiler's turned on. And the black is gonna be the return back. Okay, so we're just gonna plug it on. Done. So you've got plenty of wire here. So we put the cover on again. Okay, nice and, nice and straightforward. Right, so receiver here. Just undo the screw there and these pop off. Voila. Put that out of the way. Just have to take the little cover off first. Watch these screws, they are tiny. I normally end up dropping them and spend a week finding them. As we did the other week, didn't we, Ryan? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be your live there. That's going to be your neutral there. And then your common is number two, which it will be the gray wire. And then the number three is on when it's turned on, which is going to be your black wire. So we're just going to stick it in now. There's no worth on this and I've put it in there. To be honest, that's a total waste of time. So I'm just going to flick the, it's a bit for the wiring out here. 
These do come out quite easy normally, but as I'm on camera, they're not going to. There we go. So, cabling. Okay, so that will stay like that and be clipped, and then obviously the wires are then gonna go in. So I'm just gonna slide that there. As I say, there's no worth. So that's pointless. Okay. And I'm just gonna trim these wires back a little bit. And I'm gonna strip them. Here we go. So it's a bit tight, this. I hope you've got a nice close-up because Ryan's got the phone in my face, haven't you, Ryan? So <laughs> I can't actually really see what I'm doing. I'm sort of looking through the phone. That's fine. And if the camera's moving a bit, it's because we're freezing because it's in a garage and we are very, very chilly. So Brown live in. Like so, live from there is the live in the receiver. So it's always a little bit more fiddly to get the neutral in because you've got the two open firm wires in that block there that can go in there makes it a bit harder for us if you get confused by the wire in here you don't understand it just look at the plate you've taken off there right look you'll see it says what's common what's on what's off what's live what's neutral so it's nice and straightforward so as i said to you the live wire which is the gray off the boiler which is pin 26 for reference to you all goes in number two which is a common and as I said again it will be sleeved but I'm just doing this if I cut and put sleeving on here it'd be another 30 seconds on the uh, video and yeah it's probably a bit boring so let's just undo that one and this is the black so the idea is that the common comes in when the thermostat is turned on get that right Rob when the thermostat is turned on it livens pin three up three then livens the boiler up basically and that's what turns the circulating pump and fires the boiler so there we go that's all in we're going to stick that back on this is a bit where it goes wrong here we go this is just a nice cover so it stops you electrocuting yourself if you're silly and take it off So what I would normally do now is I would clip the wire and that's going to end up on the wall like so. For the purposes of this, we're just going to drop it down to here. So to put this back on, you've got two little clips here. You clip them on, clip. And then you put that on like so. And then do it up. like so now and again the wires hanging out but that will be pushed in and clipped that will end up sitting like that so what we're going to do is now we're just going to power it and show you so on the actual thermostat itself we have to take the little plate off here which is the battery cover and put a pair of batteries two AA batteries in this these come ready coded so you haven't got to worry about coding them up they're very easy to code up if there's a problem anyway. And away we go. So before we turn it on, I'll just pull this cover off. You can see we need to set the time and the date up. There we go. So 14th today. So time. Here we go, so we're in 2023. Okay, okay, the month is 
obviously November, okay, press okay again. Today is the 14th, 14th, okay, the time is, what's the time line, let's have a look, 20 past one, so again 1300, okay. So you just use these up and down buttons here. Done, so we just come out of there. Okay, I'm just gonna drop into manual mode so you can see the time and all that's there. Now it's 13 degrees in here. I'm just gonna stick it into manual mode. And at the minute, I'm just gonna dial it down. So it's on minimum. Okay, we're gonna turn the power on. There's two lights coming up on here, but one will go off in a minute. There we go. That's just flashing, because that needs to find the signal of this timer now. So we're just gonna turn it up. Say 22 degrees. It will flash a few times. It's showing the heat light there, and obviously it's come on and then the boiler would normally fire, okay? So the reason the boiler hasn't fired is because we haven't got the oil line connected at the moment, but if you look down here, you can see the pump is on, okay? So that is basically how you do it. So a quick overview of this again, it's on 13.9 in here at the moment. To set it, you turn it down to your desired temperature. Let's go down to 10 degrees, for example. You just wait, it flashes a few times. and then it's turned it off on there. Repeat the other way. 20 degrees. We wait, the little flame symbol will come up and then boom, it's on again and away it goes. It's as simple as that. This is programmable, so it's got lo lots of other functions. You can set all your programs, i.e. 6.30 in the morning is 21 degrees, eight o'clock, it then becomes 10 degrees and of course you can adjust that there you just keep pressing ok 12 o'clock 10 degrees as you can see you just keep deciding what you want to do so you set monday to friday up first like so and then after you set saturday and sunday up so again you can adjust this time up and down and then you think oh what temperature do i need at that time it's going to be that 20 and that will then go until 10, 10 o'clock where it goes down to 10 degrees or you can go up to whatever you want to do, like so. So you can just play with the times and the temperatures all the time. And then just to come out of it, I normally just go off. And then it's in this case, it's in manual, so you can do it manually. You can have it on auto and stuff like that. You can have it in holiday mode. Uh, yeah, there's loads of function of this. Great little device. Finally, this can be fitted on the wall, like so, clearly in the house. Or if we look here, we have a stand. Okay, so that just clips on the back like so. And then this bit here goes on like so. Push it, and there you go. And that will literally stand. Okay, it's as simple as that. So that is the overview of the um, Copy Pack 4. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it's helped the people that have asked us. So until next time, stay safe. And then this bit slides in like so, which normally I'll get the wrong way around, which I have got the wrong way around. And I've still got it the wrong way around. There we go, nope. Thank <laughs> you.